marketing campaign calls a cannabis game a way to social network like people used to do back in the day. What could be better in 2013, the year weed became legal in colorful Colorado. My partner and I, Mike Genright, decided that we would get back to the original social networking where people actually have to deal with each other and <laughs> talk with each other and get frustrated with each other and laugh with each other and just have fun with each other. Novel concept, dude. People talking with each other. The Kush partner is coming up with the idea after high school while playing a game called Dealer McDope. And that's what started everything. And it was this board game where you buy on one side and you sell on the other. And back then, at 18, 19 years old, we decided, man, we should do this for Colorado. Well, as a doobie burn, la da da da, the boys put off the game for a few decades. When the, the dawn of medical marijuana came to Colorado, we put our heads together and go, now's the time. Let's get back on that idea we had about 20 years ago. A couple of heads putting their heads together. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Good thing. I never thought of it that way, John. That's great. Dieter, a graphic artist, began coming up with different versions of the ganja game a few years ago. Well, this is probably sixth or seventh revision. Point six. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> CCC point six. Cannabis game beginning when you fly into Denver. The idea is to move through Colorado buying pot in eight different cities. And the goal is, is to collect marijuana from all eight cities, sell it in Denver, make a million dollars, and get back to DIA. First person to do that wins the game. Well, the game is pretty simple to set up. It comes pre-rolled. It's all about buying and selling weed in Colorado, and it gives you a history lesson as well. And we have famous Coloradoans on our money. Um, all of these different decks of cards have stories in them. Some Mary Jane stories made up, some true. Playing hacky sack at a rest stop. Car screeches up, throws a bag of weed out at you, and splits. Cops are in pursuit. With 420 activities in full swing this weekend at the Cannabis Cup, this cushy game is just what's needed for late night fun. In Denver, John Bowman, Fox 31 Denver.